Hi guys, my name is Roger, welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to show you something interesting about the MV8800. In my last video I installed an SSD drive in the MV but I was not that satisfied with the difference between the speed of the SSD and the original hard drive. Then somebody commented that he is planning to put an IDE to SD uh, adapter in the MV and I thought that's a good idea. Because I have this IDE to Compact Flash adapter, which was installed in my VP9000, but it gave every time an error when I started the VP. So I took it out and I installed it in my MV over here. It's on the place of the CD-ROM because I never use the CD-ROM. I don't burn CDs. I don't read sample CDs. I use the USB in combination with my computer, and that's it. Now with this solution, you can easily. Take the compact flash out, and in this case, this is a compact flash, compact flash with a 64 gigabyte micro SD. I connect it to my computer, and I can swap files very quick, very easily. And I show you some examples. You put it back, and you're good to go. Very quick, very easy, very nice. Let's take a look. We do a startup, and you will notice it will start, in this case, with the compact flash card. So the solution works with the CF card. The CD-ROM is inside the MV, and now I'm able to start up and to create a new project. What I now want to do is to put the original content on this CF without using the USB, but just with putting this one into a card reader. The original content is on this CD-ROM, well, on these two CD-ROMs, but the packaging is still sealed. So I'll download the images and put them directly on the CF card, so without using the USB. Let's give it a try. I will point now the camera on my screen. Let me first put it on song mode and now I will import some samples. Let's do some previewing of samples. I go to patches, then I go to samples, breaks, and top classics for example. And I see here action or amen. Well, let's do the amen break. Aim and break, Winston, I do preview. Okay. So, preview is pretty quick, in my opinion. I do an import. It's reading. And it's already there. In my opinion, it's very quick. Let's do another one. Um, the assembly line, yes. Assembly line preview. Preview. 
pretty quick preview, right? Let's import it. It's now reading. And my opinion is very quick, but let's do another test with just a normal patch, no sample, but um, let's say a drum kit. I got here the drum kit, let's do the 39, okay. Preview, reading patch for preview. Importing, execute, so it's already in, but let's go back, because if I go to patches over here to the samples, the breaks, look at the amount of samples I have switched, well, copied from my computer to the compact flash card, no, the micro SD card, because it's a micro SD card, it was so quick, it was so quick. And yeah, I said goodbye to the SSD, it's now in my VS2400, very nice also. But the compact flash IDE card solution for the MV8800 is, for me, really, really great. Really great. So guys, the solution is great. The solution is great to have an IDE 2CF in your MV. If you're thinking about putting an SSD, that's fine, but also consider the IDE to CF or the IDE to SD because dragging and dropping files is easy as one, two, three. And you can create WAV files with your MV, take them out, put them in your computer and do whatever you want. Do you have a load of samples you want to have it in your MV? Don't turn it on overnight no just take it out the cf put it on your mv and it's done okay guys just simple video thank you for watching and we see each other next time bye bye